Seems quite simple. Never aim a laser at an aircraft, but that's exactly the warning the FAA is sending out again this morning. So frustrating seeing those videos. During the pandemic, we saw a spike in this happening across the nation. Let's bring in John Rutter live now at Burke Lakefront Airport. John, you personally know the importance of not doing this, and it's frustrating to see that these incidents just keep climbing. Yeah, it really is frustrating. And if a laser hits this aircraft in the windshield here, it just lights up the entire cockpit, really making it difficult for that pilot to see. And the FAA says that we once again hit record numbers for the uh, number of reported laser strikes last year. They just released that data in the same week that four airline flights were struck by a laser. It can happen in a flash. Even a split second with the uh, right type of light can temporarily take away your night vision. Laser strikes on aircraft have been on the rise in recent years. If you go blind from the outside for even a couple of seconds, that could be bad news. The FAA's data showing that pilots reported more than 9,000 incidents in 2021, a 41% spike from the year before. When I got hit, the entire cockpit just lit up. So the windscreen and the windows, everything that could be uh, reflected off of just lit up and temporarily uh, blinded me from the outside. Derek Wiltsy is a pilot for us here at News 5 and is well aware of the growing trend, but even he wasn't prepared for how a laser strike would impact flying. I thought it would be just uh, typical, like it would go through the window and look just kind of like a single string of light. Lasers aimed at planes and helicopters have been a safety concern for more than a decade, and the FAA says at least 244 injuries have been reported since 2010 for laser strikes. If a, uh, a person on the ground is intentionally trying to hit an aircraft, which definitely does happen, and they're following the aircraft with a laser, that instance could last for a couple seconds. Authorities say the problem is made worse by the availability of cheap laser pointers getting more powerful, but the issue is no laughing matter. It's really no joke. You would, you would really have to, I think the awareness needs to be out there. Well, here in Cleveland, about 38 laser strikes were reported last year, five in the Akron area. The FAA handed out more than $120,000 in fines last year. That can range between eleven dollars and $30,000, Katie. All right, so they obviously are catching at least some of these people who are doing this. You say there are some fines. What about the jail time? Might that help bring some of these numbers down? Well, it's certainly a possibility. You can face up to five years behind bars for shining a laser at an aircraft. It is a federal charge, so it's certainly a pretty stiff penalty. Mm -hmm.